Hello and welcome to my FA MacLaw deck profile. First, the monsters. We are playing three FA Hang On Mac. This is by far the best FA monster. Best case, this becomes an untargetable macrocosm on legs. Then to Auto Navigator. Auto Navigator can add any FA field spell on summon from the deck to the hand. It's a free special summon from the hand or the graveyard if you have an FA monster whose level is higher than its original level. And it's a tuner, so this is just a really great card. And it's attack equal its own defense. This comes up later as well. And finally, for the FA monsters, we are playing one Dark Dragster. Uh, this can destroy any card on the field. Uh, this uh, matters because sometimes you want to pop your own field spells in some situations. And it's a free special summon from the hand if you control a level 7 or higher FA monster. And now the Mech Lords. We are playing two Nucleus Core. This adds any Mech Lord spell from the deck to the hand if it's normal or special summoned. And if it's destroyed by a card effect, we can special summon any Mech Lord Imperator monster from our deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. And it's attack equal its own defense. Again, this comes up later. <laughs> then we are playing two Mech Lord Imperator Weissel. Uh, this is a spell negate once per turn, which is pretty nice because sometimes your opponent might have in out to the FA end board that you're sitting on, and then this is just another spell negate. Uh, it can special summon itself from the hand if a monster you control is destroyed by a card effect, so even if you got one in the hand and you special summon the other one from the deck, the one in the hand is still alive because you can just special summon it if your opponent breaks your board with something like a Dark Hole or Raigeki, and uh, then you still got a spell negate on your side of the board. The downside is that this locks you into only attacking with him because he says that other monsters you control cannot attack. And our last monster in the main deck is a 3 of of Gizmek Naganaki. This can tribute itself to special summon any machine monster from our deck whose attack equals its own defense. So this can special summon both Auto Navigator and the Nucleus Core from our deck. Uh, this can get us access to both of our starters for the Mechlord half of the deck and the FA half of the deck. And uh, we can bench this from our graveyard to add any face down banished machine monster uh, to our hand whose attack equals its own defense. So uh, if we use Pot of Desires, for example, uh, or we got evenly matched, then we can recycle cards from our banished pile back to our hand with this. It's a pretty good card. And now the spells. We are playing three UA Hyper Stadium. This can add any FA monster from our deck to the hand, and it can give us an additional normal summon. This is always treated as an FA card, so it's pretty searchable. And the additional normal summon allows us to get both the Maclord half of the deck and the FA half of the deck on the field way easier. Then three City Grand Prix. This can make our FAs untargetable. Three Off-Road Grand Prix. This can make our opponent discard a card if they swing over an FA monster by battle. Then one Circle Grand Prix. This can make us draw a card if we destroy an opponent's monster by battle with an FA monster. And all of these three field spells also search us any FA card if they are destroyed by a card effect and they increase the levels of the FA monsters we control on our side of the field. This way you can modulate the levels of the FAs you got on field for some fancy synchro plays and you give your FA monsters additional effects because they always can gain a level whenever an FA spell or spell effect is activated and these also boost the FA monsters level by two. And our last FA spell in the deck is 3 FA Test Run. Uh, Test Run is pretty nice because it's removal and it can special summon an FA monster from the deck. And now the Maclord spells, or rather the Maclord spell. We are playing 3 Maclord Assembly. On activation, this adds any Maclord monster from our deck to the hand. And we can discard a card, then target one monster we control and destroy it. And if a Maclord monster we control is destroyed by battle or card effect, we can target one other face-up spell or trap on the field and destroy it. This way we can destroy our own FA spells to trigger the search effects, or we can just destroy another face-up spell or trap on the field whenever a Maclord monster is destroyed by battle or card effect. And we can search any Maclord monster. This means that if we already have Nucleus Core in our hand, or we have the Gizmek Naganaki, we can summon the Nucleus Core, search Maclord Assembly, activate Assembly, then Assembly gets us the Imperator from the deck, and we can pop the Nucleus Core we control to special summon another Imperator from our deck. This means that even if they break our board, that we can still special summon another Imperator from our hand. It's pretty nifty, and the synergy is nice that you can pop your own face-up spells as well. And now some generic spells. We are playing one Terraforming, because this just adds us any field spell from our deck to the hand. 
then two pot of desires. Uh, we are playing many three offs and we don't really care about banishing anything with desires unless we banish all our hang on max, but this is really unlikely. And it has some synergy with the Gizmic Naganaki. Then a one for one. Uh, this can special summon both the Auto Navigator and the Nucleus Core from our deck by discarding a monster. It's a pretty nice card and it can be Ash Bait. Then three Xyz Align. This is a quick play spell that allows us to modulate the levels of two monsters on the field. And then it kind of locks us, but we don't really care about the lock because the lock is not really specific. And even though this says Xyz Align, it doesn't lock you into Xyz monsters. This way you can even modulate the levels of monsters on your side of the field to go into some nice synchro plays. But the really fancy use of this card is, during your opponent's turn, you can target a hang on mic you control and an opponent's monster and make their levels become 12. This way your opponent got an unusable level 12 monster. You can't really use something like that for an Xyz or Synchro Summon. And you got a really big hang on mic, which is a macrocosm now as well. It's pretty, pretty nice. Then one called by, because we are searching a lot in this deck and we don't like Joel. Then two Foolish Burial Goods, because some of our cards have graveyard effects. But mostly this is there to send the UA Trap, because we can banish this from our graveyard to add a UA Spell from our deck to the hand. And because UA Hyper Stadium searches us the FA Monsters, this can search our best field spell from the deck. So we are essentially playing six copies of our best field spell. And you can even discard this with MacLord Assembly, or you can pop it with MacLord Assembly. So uh, even if you drew into this and you think, oh man, maybe I drew into a Garnet, if you got MacLord Assembly, you can still discard this and then get yourself the field spell that's a surge and a double summon. It's really, really nice that uh, MacLord Assembly also discards a card uh, because uh, something like Auto Navigator doesn't care about being discarded because it can just special summon itself from the graveyard as well. And now the extra deck, we are playing a Garden Rose Flora. This can target a card in our field spell zone, destroy it, and then special summon a level two token. Because this is a tuner as well, we can then synchro summon a level seven synchro monster, and we can trigger our FA field spell effect if we popped an FA field spell with this. Then one FA Dawn Dragster. This is a level seven, so you can, for example, summon it with a Garden Rose Flora, and it's a spell or trap negate once per turn. Another level 7 monster, we are playing one Ancient Fairy Dragon. This is a double summon and it can destroy a card in our field spell zone to add any other field spell from our deck to the hand. And it even gains life points, so you can technically win in time with this. Then the level 8 Speed Droid Synchro Monster. This needs a Wind Machine Tuner, but Auto Navigator is a Wind Machine and a Tuner, so this way we can still summon this. And it's a board wipe if we summon it. One of the FA Synchro Monster, this is pretty nice because it can become indestructible by battle or card effects and it can special summon FA Monsters back from your graveyard if its level is high enough. One Wolfra yet, because this is a really nice level 9 Synchro Monster. And one Final Sigma, because this is a great Synchro boss monster. Our Link Monsters are one Relinquished Anima, because we can make this with Auto Navigator for example. One Shining Star GT, because this can negate monster effects. One IP Mascarena, because this allows us to make something like Unicorn or Underworld Goddess during our opponent's turn. And it's pretty nice if you're making Avra Max with this. Then one Geonator Transversa, just because it's really nice removal and it's generic. One Nightmare Unicorn, just to be made with the Mascarena or just as a good generic Link 3. One of the BLS link because we can increase the levels of our FA monsters pretty easily and then this is indestructible and untargetable by card effects. One Avra Max because this is really nice if you make it with Mascarena and it's just a good monster. And finally one Underworld Goddess because this can remove any opponent's monster that's a threat to us and it's just a great card. And with Mascarena you can make this on your opponent's turn as well. Finally, I would love to give you some thoughts on the deck. The deck was pretty nice when Tier Elements was still around because it was a really, really easy way to make a macrocosm and uh, you could still play this list even before Kashtira was legal. So uh, it was basically an Arise Heart before there was an Arise Heart. And now with Kashtira getting some hits on the last ban list, it's a really, really nice way to make some Arise Heart-esque monster on your side of the field. And uh, this is a one-sided macrocosm, so 
If you get a hang on mech, that's maybe a level 13 with the Xyz align on your side of the field and you can protect it with your field spells and with uh, Imperator Weissel with another spell negate, then that's a kind of hard board for many decks to out because it's essentially making decks play under D-Shifter, but decks this format don't really have an answer for that. I hope you like this list and if you have any suggestions, just post them in the comments. I'm trying to answer every comment I get and yeah. Uh, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice day.